gonna get right to it. I'm gonna get on the way afterwards. Get out there and do my little winter preparation thing. Yeah. Hey, just wanted to update this morning. You know, I talked about a bunch of things early. Hope you got up and did your little I love you exercises. But this is about uh, um, overnight since I talked. There's been this little rumble on the southern side of the planet. Hmm. It's called Loyalty Island. 7.9, 7.7, 7 7.6. Earthquakes. Those are big. On a global scale, those are really big. And when something happens like that, there's called a, uh, where it hits on the other side of the planet, it's called antipode. But it didn't just stop at that. Um, it's been interesting. It's been every um, hour or two, there's been a thump, 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 thump at 10 kilometers deep. Um, almost like you had a nice little giant thumper doing a five or greater magnitude thump. Now, the problem with that is you start to develop what's called a um, a, a rhythm, a resonance, particularly when you happen to have it at certain frequencies, um, which seems to be kind of the case. I was you know, picking up actually in frequency a little bit, which is what you would do if you want something to go. You go, boom, 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 and you get a rhythm going. And if you do that, and you got magma under the planet, for example, underneath the Earth's surface, and then you start getting some movement of magma, causing it to move burst up through volcanoes, cause earthquakes in other places, and things like that. Now, what's causing it? There's some question to that. But if you haven't been looking at, there's some really cool um, animations that show the pressure on the Earth's shields on the front side, and both, which is surprising, on the back side, which normally we don't have the kind of serious wind speeds and pressure on the back side of the planet where our shields have to kick in. Go, hey Scotty, what's on our ass? He said, I don't know, Captain Kirk, I'll let you know in a heartbeat here. Let's see, turn the cameras around. What's behind us? This kick in our butt. Something's going on. When you get 600 mile or 600 kilometer per second winds going away from you faster than they hit you at the front end as you're going through space. When we go through space, that's kind of a negative speed. We're going into space. If you measure it from where we're coming at, we're coming at, say, minus 600 kilometers per second, second or something like that. The wind speed um, is also a factor what the sun's putting off at us. But we're traveling through the universe at a certain speed, so there's a constant. What's happening is all of a sudden we're seeming to feel something. Something's causing us to go pulsing. Um, there's a lot of unusual things happening on the planet at the moment. So what I'm, I'm just saying, hey, if you don't know about these things, go to Earthquakes Live online you can see that you go to windy live and see all sorts of wind and what's in this what's in the wind particulate matter you can go on um, all these good sites and use this um, internet for something other than just distraction totally distraction i say distraction is that this gives you some idea there might be something going on i mean who knew there was going to be earthquakes all through texas and oklahoma in the last couple of days we don't normally see a lot of earthquakes in texas but particularly 30 miles away from my house now, I'm just going to get off of here, go out there, do my little work, get underneath, do some insulation, put some skirting up, prepare for some insanely low weather. It was even getting worse, worse than we expected. Hey, Shannon, glad you're there, dude. <laughs> my loyalty's not being shaken. I know exactly what's going on. All this is, you know, I didn't go digging all these holes and building tiny houses and doing all this stuff just because I felt like it'd be profitable. No, I did it because I firmly believe that what we're about to see is happening was going to happen a long time ago. Yep, taco soup. Good, good. I'm on my way too, Mary, and all y'all have good lunch. I got to get some work done, put some gloves on, and uh, go out there and crawl under some things, crawl around some things. Drip. I mean, a lot of work, and <laughs> there's only a few of us here to do it. So... Y'all have a good day. Enjoy the cold. Stay warm. Remember, if you didn't watch my video about being careful, don't let the heat kill you. And when it's cold outside, you know I'm talking about the heat inside. So please, pay attention to these things. And when it gets all done, let's get together and have a little chat. Well, actually, you're going to be in the house for eight, ten days. I'll have a chat between now and then. Um, yeah... Wouldn't that be a race? 
See, the human race is actually about to be exactly that bottleneck. And technological people, you know what? You can't do a whole lot if you can't get in your car and get over there to the hard drives and, and those big, massive installations that might go down with nobody able to get to them. And those darn viruses. So, yeah, spring is coming. But after a hard, cold winter, and spring may not arrive everywhere. Yeah. It could stay cold. In fact, I want to make a bet. Yeah. That's a bet. Not, not a legal bet that I can get in trouble with. I don't want anybody coming and say, oh my God, he's gambling. I gambled nearly all my life. That's what entrepreneurial success is. You gamble everything you got. Because that's what it takes. Losers, they drop out all the time because they might lose everything they got. Winners, that's just part of the game. can't take it with you so roll the dice you roll the dice good so I'm about to bet something obviously I'm betting my reputation in my future which is easy to do if you're a figment of somebody's imagination what do you got to lose oh they have followed me oh I disappeared out of their world oh you know what's cool is there's statistics that check on how many people come back after they unfollow kind of interesting I didn't know about that. Yeah, your likes go up and down. If they leave, then you lose their like. If they come back, you get their likes. All that kind of crap. Like, when they finagle my statistics like they do on Facebook, for example. <laughs> yeah, I got 205 likes or 204 likes. The same every day, every day, every day now for about a week and a half. Every All the numbers seem to change. Very little, too. Now, I know I can't be that consistent, but Jonathan, I don't know that we've failed to save ourselves. We've just failed to save the bulk of the population, and we still have time. We don't save them. We give them a path to save themselves. I don't think Jesus ever said he's going to go out there and force people to do the right thing. He just suggested very strongly that they consider that. Preferably before a certain time. I don't know. I've seen some writings about what that might be, look like. And what's it supposed to be like? Well, I don't know. For sure. But I do know these are some strange times. I want you to go get prepared now, okay? Just take a few moments, take that big check they're sending, $1,400. <laughs> Don't blow it on a, well, frankly, you can't buy too much of $1,400 in case you hadn't noticed. Yeah, uh, how about food? How about some things you might need in the near future if you're going to change your life? And while you're at it, why don't you liquidate a bunch of stuff so people will get that $1,400 check and don't know what to do, and they'll come out there and buy your crap. And give you a decent price for it. Maybe it's your stock. You're about to have a problem with that, I think. If you get silver, wonderful. Old dimes and quarters. I highly recommend old silver dimes and quarters. Better than gold. Because you go to the store to buy a loaf of bread with a quarter that's worth $10. And they're not going to kill you. You go to the store and try to buy a loaf of bread with a cougarand. And get home when they don't make change. No. You're not going to have a problem. You're going to get home. Somebody's going to be following you. Make sure you get home safe. To your safe. Preferably they'll be watching to see if you get home to your safe. Having gold is not necessarily a healthy thing if nobody else has gold and you happen to pop that little puppy up and, hey, got change? Yeah, from your hand to mine. Thank you very much. Oh, no, you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to have guns. Yeah. I know. It's a no-gun zone. Give me your shit, man. <sighs> anyway. All right. I'm going to have to get going because, you know, I mean, I'm writing this story. You know, this is real. All this is fiction. No reason to censor here, guys. Yeah, you just use your little censor someplace else. Thank you. Y'all have a good day. Get going. $1,400 worth of organic honey. Wow, that's a lot of honey, honey. 
<laughs> See you later.